Um, I have a question to any equestrian or any horse lover. As uh, most of you know, I'm, well, most of you just want to say that, all the people that watch the video, I'm in the process of building a hay hut. Um, so I'm not feeding these guys on the ground, they're actually, their hay's going to be in a, a stall, I'll insert a picture. Um, just so you got some idea on what I'm talking about. Um, but my problem is, uh, it's not really a problem, it's, my, it's a decision I need to make, which I'm not sure about. <coughs> Whether I build it and erect it in the middle of the stall arena here, which as you can see this area is all fenced off. Now I mainly have this area here for when um, I have either the vet come around or the farrier. Basically I just keep the horses contained so they're not out gallivanting around the paddock. But the trouble I have with that, every time I have a visitor or someone comes around here, Naomi, over here, <laughs> good old Nay, she gets nervous and she starts pacing. Yeah, we're talking about you, sweetheart. And she starts pacing up and down, up and down. Now what I'm trying to say is if I build the hay hut in the middle of this stall arena here, like out there just in front of Ty where she is I don't know if it's going to become a hazard she could run into it she could you know it could become dangerous she may hurt herself with it run into it or whatever I don't know my other option is I was going to build it out here out here in the middle of that paddock there too and look the grass has come up you now that little bit of rain we've had everything's just so green now but yeah so this is a uh, either in this area here or that area there where Ty is just in front of Ty so I'm not too sure whether I put it in there I, I am leaning towards putting it in here because when when they does panic and stress She, um, she always seems to hug the fence line and, and pace up and down the fence line. Um, I was, it's, it's a bit difficult for me to hang on to all three horses while the farriers will hang on to two horses while the farriers are tending to one. So, yeah, and, and you know, as most horse people know, you know, they're big animals. And if they're nervous, number one, the first thing you need to do is try and calm them down. Um, now with Ty, because these guys are older horses, you know, they're set in their ways, they have muscle memory, they know no matter what you do, they're, they're set, they're, they do what they do. But yeah, anyway, that's my question to um, any equestrian person, should I build the whole stuck, the, whole, the hay hut, sorry, in the stall area here, which is, I'll get it on widescreen so you guys can see the area not too sure yeah that's doing it alright so you can see this this area is fenced off it's fenced off and it goes all the way around there so whether I build it there or out here I'm not sure so someone you know anybody's opinion I'm, I'm more than welcome to it like I said I'm more leaning towards building in here because they've got their water in here they've got their stalls in here they've got everything in here but like I said when we do get a visitor whether it's either the vet or the farrier it can become a hazard which you know the yeah, same old principle you make the wrong thing hard and the right thing easy all right guys if someone can help us out with that or give me some advice that'd be greatly appreciated thanks guys have a great week